Right, in this video, I'm talking about uh, equilibrium. It comes directly from moments of a force. Remember, we said that a moment of a force is the turning effect of a force, and it's given by the product of the force and the perpendicular distance, the line of action of the force from the pivot. And we, we talked about clockwise and uh, anticlockwise moments. And you said when a body is balanced, we have the clockwise moments equaling the uh, anti-clockwise moments. Now, this leads us to equilibrium. A body is in equilibrium or in balance when it has no tendency to turn or to move. There are two conditions for equilibrium. And then these are, first of all, the sum of the clockwise moments should equal the sum of the anti-clockwise moments about any point. So when you take the clockwise moments about a point, take the anti-clockwise moments about the same point, you should get uh, the same value for e the equilibrium to be there. Then the second condition, the resultant force in any direction is zero, which means the sum of forces in one direction should balance or equal the sum of forces in the opposite direction. Now to verify this uh, uh, equilibrium, you need a spring balance. You need a piece of string to hang the spring balance. You need a uniform meter whose weight acts at the center. Remember, uniform means weight acts at the center. Then you've got weights on the either side of the halfway mark of the meter. Then you've got weights. So as you add weights, you can restore the balance. You find that the the forces from the weights and the weight of the meter rule, uh, will equal what reading you get from the spring balance upwards. This you find out when you do the experiment, and also from the first condition, you will find out that uh, the clockwise moments this side should equal the anti-clockwise moments the this other side. So. That's verifying the uh, uh, conditions for equilibrium. Now, calculations. I'll just speak on these examples. So the first example here, a man of weight 800 newtons uh, stands on a plank. And um, this is shown here. The plank is supported by two trestles. Calculate the upward forces at each trestle. So what you're going to do here, you pick, take your, uh, in your book, just pause the video and, sh and uh, uh, try and work it out, but follow what I'm going to tell you. So I'm going to do it slowly, slowly, and make sure that you get what I'm saying. So you're going to take moments about this pivot B. So this is going to be your pivot B. So it means you are nullifying the effect of this force here because there's no distance moved from the pivot. The sense moment is zero. So this is your pivot. So we're now considering clockwise and anti-clockwise moments about this pivot. So if you hold here and then look at the weight of the man, it's going down. So it's got a, uh, a tendency of making this go this way. So that's an anti-clockwise moment. Whereas this force X is going up, and from this pivot here, it sets a clockwise moment, so going the other way. If you remember the first first example on moments, I, I had something like this, which had a hinge. If you go back to that, you understand. So the anti-clockwise moment will be 800 times the 2 meters, which is 1,600 newton meters here. Please write it down so that you understand. And then X, uh, the moment here, will be x times the 5 meters that is from the pivot. So this force times the distance from the pivot, 5 meters, which is going to be 5x. Then you create 5x to 1,600 that you got earlier. So 5x is what 1,600, and then you find x. x will be the force here. Now, since the downward force is 800 newtons, which means that this force plus this force, upward forces should equal downward forces from the second condition of equilibrium. So you then find the other force here becomes, it becomes your unknown. Like 800 minus this one gives you that one. 
now in the second uh, case here um, you say it's repeat but now you should take into consideration the, the 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 weight of the plank the weight of the plank since this is a uniform plank the weight acts at the center so it will be at the two and a half meter mark since this is five meters so two and a half meters right there so you've got to consider the moment of the weight of the meter rule again so which is going to be the weight of the meter rule times this distance from the pivot which is 2.5 plus this 800 times 2 should equal the clockwise moment which is 5x again and then you find uh, the unknown uh, be sure to do these questions is um, an assignment and please let's hand them in at the date that will be uh, stated on Google Classroom, signing out.